What's up guys, Johnny from Titan. And today I wanna to answer a commonly asked question that I get from patients and from outside visitors. What do you guys have for anti-aging? What does Titan Medical Center have that's gonna help me turn back the clock, John? And we have a lot of great therapies that we offer patients, but one in particular for anti-aging that really comes to my mind that gets prescribed to a lot of patients is CJC1295 with Ipromorelin. So there's two different peptides in this therapy, so you get a lot of bang for the buck right off the bat. And then you're gonna ask me, what do these peptides do? So these are GHRH peptides, growth hormone releasing hormone peptides. And what they do in layman's terms are gonna help you stimulate more of your natural growth hormone so your body can get a lot more benefit and turn back that clock on the inside, right? So you guys can start getting better skin elasticity, more lean muscle mass, boost the metabolism, and help you sleep a lot better. These are some of the benefits that a lot of our patients get with CJC1295 with ipromorelin. As you know, as we get older and our age declines, so does our growth hormone levels. And this is basically like a flower. That's the best way I can describe it. We grow, we blossom, we wither, and we die. So on the decline with your hormones being deficient or specifically your growth hormone, you know, all these things start to lack as far as your skin elasticity. That's why it looks a lot looser on older people. They might be losing a lot more hair and they can't hold the muscle mass that they used to, right? They're not sleeping as good as they used to back when they were younger. These are all symptoms and signs of hormone deficiencies. Specifically in this case, it might be growth hormone. So if you want to stimulate your growth hormone naturally, better, CAC 1295 with Iperlin could be and should be probably the therapy for you. If you want to know more information about this awesome peptide therapy that we offer, then call or text us today, 727-389-3220. If you want to read up about it, go check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. And then check out our YouTube videos for all the other great therapies and cool content that we're making for you guys. Just type in Type Medical Center at YouTube and you'll find all that great content there. Thanks guys. What's up guys, I'm Sharice. I'm one of the owners of Tight Medical Center. I am sitting on this couch here to take a break to tell you one of my favorite therapies. I have quite a few actually. I unfortunately don't have all the time in the world to talk to you about all of them right now, so stay tuned for the further videos. But this video, I am gonna tell you about my very, very favorite one, okay? My favorite one is the ECA Therapy Stack, okay? In this ECA capsule, and it is a capsule because I can't say I'm the biggest fan of injectables. However, there are a couple injectables that I take because it's worth taking this shot and it's seamlessly, very virtually painless, I should say. But this particular therapy, these ECA stack pills, I take them very often, okay? And I've taken them for many, many years at a time. I take them on days that I work, days that I don't work, and I'll tell you why I take them on days that I work and days that I don't work and what's going on and how it works for me specifically because there's a lot of people that you know might see these differently. So what is an ECA stack? All right, it's a prescription thermogenic. In this capsule, and I take, there's, there's two doses actually, but I take the lower dosage because I'm a baby. Um, but in this capsule, you'll find ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. Now, what do these things do, right? So ephedrine is a thermogenic. It heats up your core body temperature, so you're burning fat no matter what you're doing. Whether you're running, walking, talking, sitting, working, whatever it is, you're gonna be burning fat while you're doing these things. Um, caffeine, I think that's self-explanatory of what caffeine does, but for those of you that need me to explain it, caffeine obviously is gonna give you energy, help with some you know, mental clarity. The ephedrine also helps with clarity and mental you know, focus, that kind of stuff. Um, and then you have your B12, B12 is your vitamin. It's gonna help with energy, natural energy as well. Chromium is also gonna help with, you know, the fat metabolism and curbing the appetite just a little bit. So this particular therapy, I take it for many reasons. Number one, helps me get motivated in the morning and get me going, gives me energy. And it's probably, I, I take, wake up, I go brush my teeth and then I take my ECA and I take it fasted 
probably one of the best ways to take it, unless you've never taken it before, then you want to take it with some food. But the best way to take it if you're losing, wanting to lose weight is going to be fasted. So I do take it first thing in the morning and I would say probably about 30 minutes it takes and boom, I'm off to the races. You know, a lot of people might take other things to get energy and focus. Like, you know, some people take Adderall, they might take other medications that are in the same category. So if you ever wanted to come off of something like that, this would probably be a good alternative for that. Um, so I get up, I get going, and then I take my second ECA sometime around lunch. So there's a couple different ways you can take it too, right? Because not everybody's the same. I'm not the same as you, you're not the same as him, he's not the same as her, etc. So everybody's different. That's why we make two doses, right? We make a small dose, which is the pink capsule. And then we make a higher dosage for people that have a higher tolerance, which is the blue and white capsule. Um, John takes the blue and white capsules, you know, because he's a beast. And um, like I said, it's, it's, it's from a pharmacy. It's prescription, okay? It's not over the counter. So with these, you're not gonna get the heart palpitations, you're not gonna get the crash, and you can continually take them, and you know, they're fairly safe to take. Um, and they're given in smaller dosages, so you're not taking crazy doses of ephedrine where you are, it's, it's unsafe, let's put it that way. Um, but you know, these are really good too for people like myself, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, I'm a very, very straightforward person. Those of you that know me know that, and those of you that don't know me, now you know. But um, I'm a very straightforward person, so I don't get to work out all the time, you know, and it's, it's tough because I'm busy. I'm always busy. I'm always working. So this is a good therapy for me because it helps keep some of the fat off of me considering, you know, ugh, being the owner of the clinic, you know, I'm kind of under the uh, spotlight all the time. So I'm constantly being looked at like, okay, is this what, you know, good and, you know, summer body is supposed to look like? So. This is definitely one of my favorite therapies that Titan Medical Center offers, right? Now, for those of you that may not like a stimulant per se, because this does fall into a stimulant category, we do have some other therapies that are good for fat loss. We actually have a lot now, um, quite a few. Just to name a couple, we have semaglutide, we have AOD, we have Titan Complete. That's a really good one, especially if you're just trying to take a little bit more of a natural approach. Um, and then, you know, here comes the big, the big pop for you guys. Those of you that are not losing weight, you might want to get your hormones checked. I got to put that in there because it's a big one for me. I don't like putting band-aids on a bleeding wound. Got to make sure your hormones are right because you could take everything on the planet and you can do all the cool dieting and you can run on a treadmill for 20 hours and still not lose the weight that you're looking to lose and you're asking yourself why, right? And the reason might be because you have an underlying issue, whether it's a hormonal imbalance, a thyroid issue, maybe your growth hormone levels are low and you're just not getting to where you're trying to go because your hormones are off. So a blood test is something that would check that. We can happily set you up for that as well. But anyways, I had to jump in real quick, let you know about one of my favorite therapies. That's only one of many, but this is definitely my favorite therapy because I won't go without it. Um, I'll say maybe on a Sunday when I'm Netflixing it with uh, John in the bed trying to chill, maybe I won't take one, but all the rest of the days, I'm gonna take my ECA for sure. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any questions or you would like to get this therapy, it's super easy. All you gotta do is fill out the new patient paperwork. It does not require any blood work. Um, you can get that at www.tightmedicalcenter.com or you can call or text us at 727-389-3220. We'll be here to help you pretty much any time of the day. Usually I'm working after hours. Love to talk to you. Hey guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center. Want to talk to you guys today about hormones, testosterone in particular. So I have a lot of questions from friends, family, and my patients. Should I test my hormones? Well, that's a great question. I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed, not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain. Those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We, as human beings, naturally 
Our testosterone can decrease with age, illnesses, with medication and lifestyle choices such as you know, being overweight, obesity, lack of exercise. So some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones such as your testosterone can be increasing your quality of life, being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often, also having better energy levels, being less irritable, increasing your sexual health, increasing overall wellness, decreasing fat, increasing muscle mass, increasing muscle gain, decreasing insulin resistance. So evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test. We can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, every Sunday, 11 a.m., me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys new tips, tricks, and ways to excite, ignite, and hopefully take your relationship to a whole new healthy positive level. And hopefully extend the longevity of that relationship. And don't worry for you people out there, you guys and girls that aren't in a relationship, just store all these away, put them as mental notes, so you guys can utilize these tips and tricks to help you in your future relationship. And hopefully that will be a long lasting, positive, healthy relationship. So let's just get into it. So this week we're gonna talk about something that every relationship should have. 
and not everybody looks for these things, right? So let's talk about having a disagreement or an argument. This is something that is very common and is necessary for a healthy relationship. This shows that you have your own opinion or you want to talk about something or you feel a certain way about something that your partner may not feel the exact same way about. Mm -hmm. Or you guys might disagree on something that you guys want to get yeah, or buy. Like you need to agree to disagree. Or take okay. in, whatever yeah. it may be. You guys are making decisions and now you have a partner to make that decision with. So you guys, got to, you guys are going to have to agree on these decisions about what they are. And if you're just starting a relationship, these might be minor things like, hey, where are we going to go on our date? Are you going to spend the night at my house? Or are you going to spend the night at your house? Mm -hmm. Some of these little things, right? And then as you get into your relationship and you start really, really committing to that person, new things start happening. And this might cause disagreements, arguments, or even fights down the road. Now, like I said, it's healthy. Everybody should have an argument or it's disagreement not even in their relationship. Should. You will. You will. <laughs> you will. Unless you have a really submissive partner that just takes everything. Even the submissive people, I think, still. You think so? Yeah, I do. I think at some point, even in their submissiveness, they might still go along with it, but they might have that one point where they're like, well, you know. And they might, they're not going to, maybe not aggressive, you know, like me or whatever. <laughs> you know, I'm like, eh. You know, um, but maybe they might just be like, well, and then that might be the cue where the other partner is like, okay, let me be fair here. Mm -hmm. Like that's where you're supposed to jump in and be the fair person mm -hmm. instead of just always being the decision maker and being the person making all decisions all the time. True. Uh, like I said, different people, different things. True. And the different relationships, different ways that they abide by these different things. So. It really depends on how your relationship is structured, right? Now, if you guys are both alphas, you guys might butt heads even more than the regular person that has a submissive partner because you guys are both in the driver's seat or trying to be, and both people want their foot on the pedal. But I really like driving a lot, like a lot. Yeah, you know, you're going to have to establish, you know, the dominance level, who's the alpha, and who's the beta in the relationship. It just is what it is. It's true. You can't have two alphas. Right. It just does not work like that. Now, they can be the alpha in their own sense, Yeah, right? I'm the alpha in my own. He's talking right. about me in front of me right yes. now. Yes, <laughs> yes. talking about our relationship. He's literally talking about us in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> you told him, not me. You don't really do that. <laughs> he, he might as well say it, right? Because that is us, right? Because he's like, talking about it like as if it was like a like a thing he read online. But this is like, this is happening. It's active. <laughs> it's just a prime example that I want to give you guys. I mean, it's funny, no, because really though, I mean, I am an alpha female, right? I have always been an alpha female. I, I, I like, I make the calls. I do drive. I've always driven. Blah blah blah. Okay. So I meet an alpha male and I needed, okay, and you guys gotta, you guys should really think about this actually. So I needed an alpha male in my life to balance me because if I had a beta, even though you would think an alpha and a beta go together, sometimes an alpha needs another alpha to have a balance instead of having a beta because then you may not, you might tip over sideways and you might not, it just may not work out that well. But it took many years to establish, okay, well, all right, I'll be the beta when I'm with you, but outside of this relationship, I'm the alpha. Like, you know, with our staff or with my friends or whatever it might be. So we've established that, but it, that did not happen overnight. No. And that took many, many years. I mean, even to this day, there might be a situation that happens that we're butting heads like that just because of our personalities and we're both, we're both so much alike yet so different yeah. in many aspects, but we are alike in a lot of ways. Yeah. And sometimes being alike, you don't always agree because you are alike. It's true. So, you know, it's, 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 it's you, there, you can't have the two alphas. It doesn't work that way. And that's if you're dating a girl, a guy, girl, girl, guy, guy, whatever it is out there, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. Somebody's going to have to step down. Now, with that being said, whether you're an alpha or beta, let's remove alpha and beta names, right? Here's person A, person B. You guys are gonna have to come to some sort of agreement, right? It can't always be like, okay, I'm the alpha, we're doing what the alpha says. It doesn't work like that. You guys have to come to like a 50-50 agreement, okay? Sometimes you'll agree to disagree. Sometimes one person will be like, okay, fine, we'll go with that. Or the next person, okay, fine, we'll go with that. But you guys have to meet each other at a halfway point. There is a halfway point you have to meet each other at. It's fair being fair 
I don't know if anybody has to reach out to a, a middle point, but it would probably be a good idea. Some people will never do that. Some people will never give in. And you will find a downfall in your relationships if you do do that. Mm. So you might have to rethink some of the different ways that you've been before in the past. And that's harder as we get older because we're so set in our ways. Mm -hmm. You know, prime example is my dad. Oh my gosh. I mean, dude, he's like, you know, sitting there, he's like, I don't want to even be with another woman because, you know, I like things my way and they're gonna try to change me and do that. All that. Like, all right, well, listen, you know, if you, if you want companionship, you want a partner, um, you know, you got you got to have some sort of you know opening and balance to a certain extent. You don't want them to change you who you are either. But you know, big shout out to my dad. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Big Hope you're watching. So, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just is what it is, right? Yeah, it is what it is. But you know, I mean, going back to our point here. Um, we were talking about the five five. Listen. Hold on, I'm getting into that. I'm fine. So the big thing it's about this, and we, we talk about every time, is communication. And that's the only way you're going to get past these disagreements and arguments and fights. And you want to talk civilly, right? It's not screaming at each other aggressively, you know, because that, that doesn't do anything. One person screams, the other person screams louder, the other person screams louder than that. And then you guys are getting more aggressive down the road. Mm. Start being calm when you talk, right? You can feel a certain way or very passionate about it and you can express that without being super aggressive. And it might be hard for some of you guys out there. So that's where self-control really comes into play. Now, let's talk about, cause we're about the five minute warning. Let's talk about the five, five, five method. With the five minute warning. And we've never, we've never had, <laughs> you know, we've never used this method per se on no, ourselves. Right? we haven't. But we're always looking for new tools to help couples out there really get over some of the humps or problems that they're going through. You know, I've already went through my humps or my, you know, my roadblocks, you know, to get by there and make sure that everything is working in my, uh, in my little track. But you guys got to make sure that your track is cleared. So when I talk about this, we talk about communication, right? But the five, five, five method is probably going to be one of your best bets to be able to utilize as a couple. So you haven't heard of this? Let's talk about it. I haven't. So three well, fives, not. right? They all stand for something. The first five. Right, the first two, I guess. The first two are gonna be five minutes each for each partner. And in those five minutes, you cannot interrupt your partner. You have to listen to them. And you gotta make eye contact and be fully involved with what they're saying for five minutes. After that five minutes is done, then your partner gets their five minutes and they get to talk without you talking to them and you listening to them with eye contact and full involvement. The last five minutes is going to be you guys talking it out together. Now, you've heard each other's points in the five minutes. So really think about those five points. To get your points together if you're going to do the five, 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 because you only have five minutes. Well, I mean, five minutes is a long time to talk. I mean, you know, if, if it's a, a huge one problem thing, I think you just being straightforward and communicating what that problem is or what made you upset. Uh, or what you didn't like or what the boundary is, I think you can get that point across in five minutes without just going to onslaught and just keep coming back and back and just you know repeating things over and over. Be direct, say what the problem is, say what you don't like, say what the boundary is, and then let your partner talk. And then let them talk and really hear them out, really what they're saying. Put yourself in their shoes and think about would you like that if your partner was doing that to you? And if you say yes, then at that point, tell them, say, listen, I would expect the exact same to happen to me if I was in your shoes. But if you don't agree, then you gotta say, listen, I do see it from your side. And even if you don't agree with them, you need to see their perspective. Yeah, 100%. You need to at least All empathize right? somewhere. Because there. even if you don't see it, that's fine. People see things in different ways. So you have to really understand them and say, listen, I agree with your perspective, but I have a different perspective on this. And then you guys will move on. Hopefully that communication in the last five minutes will get you over the hump or get you past a problem or argument or whatever it may be. And the biggest thing you have to do at the end of this is find a resolution. Yeah. Don't let it keep going on. Well, yeah, because you, you can complain about it all day long, but what's going to be, how are we going to fix it? Yeah. Right? You know, as me and John have gotten older over the years and busier, we've become, I believe, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we've become a little bit more direct and a little bit more like, okay, if this is the problem, what is it to fix it? Right. All right, what are we gonna do to fix it? Okay, cool, let's fix it and move on. Right. It's one of those kind of things, because we have no time. Yeah. I, I mean, I, don't, I have no time at all. So I don't have time. So it's gotta be direct, it's gotta be here, this is how we're gonna do it, fix it, whatever. So in that five minutes, the very last five minutes of your five, five, five rule, 
um, you guys need to come to some sort of resolution on how you're going to fix the issue or maybe even like maybe bullet point some things that you guys can do to help get to the resolution because yep. it may not be fixed overnight right it so, might not be no there's things that may not that might take time to fix you know and it takes time to go through it and you gotta it, it, just time you can't make time go faster but it does sometimes it takes my time. specific goals that you guys may want to achieve together or what you want to achieve going forward what's made you guys upset what's made you guys fight and um, try to resolve that. Try to get it out of the way. Because if you just don't talk about it, Festering. it just festers and starts building up. Festering this can cause good. negativity throughout the relationship. Um, it can cause you to really not like your partner, right? And say, like, I don't even want to be around you. And literally not want to be around them. Um, and that can be the downfall of your relationship. And if this is something that you really love, you probably should take the time to listen, understand, and hopefully try to find some resolution and make them happy and make you happy in the same light. Just know that, like, you know, being silent and giving the silent treatment, because I, I used to do this and it doesn't work, and, like, slamming things and, like, you know, you know, pushing drawers in really loud and, like, slamming down your cup and stuff. Obviously, they know you're mad. And, like, y'all have to talk about it at this point because... If not, it's just you're just slamming things at that point. He knows that I'm mad, and it's like, okay, what's your problem? Like, what? what just tell me what your problem is. Right. You know, so just get it out of the way. <laughs> it takes less time. So, guys, I hope you you guys will like this tip and trick that we're talking about today. Use the five 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 method, right? All right. So we'll be back every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. If you guys can't watch us live, make sure to DVR us. And like I said, if you missed that, just go over to YouTube. Hit in type medical center, hit the subscribe button, all notification bell, and you'll get to see me and this pretty little lady over here. <laughs>